bit of a start. Okay. You guys ready to go next door? John, we're just sorting out some technical issues in here. Just give us two seconds. Yeah, that's fine. We haven't got Scott Smith yet either, so. Right, I am going to send a piece of paper around. If you can uh, just write down your name on it, because apparently I'm Wayne Johnson this morning in room 304. I'm neither Wayne Johnson nor in 304. So, like I say, for those in both Aaron's group and Tommy's group, you might choose to not have your headset plugged into the um, speakers, if you like, um, because we've got a bit of feedback as we're going through this, said to my group in here that, you know, the bits of feedback we're getting from people, because it's the first time we've run this type of activity, is that, look, you know, having the speakers on on the, the, the board and in your ears can be a little bit frustrating, but we do ask you to plug your mics in because we want you to speak. Um, which is not anything different to whether you would be in a normal class anyway. We'd expect you to speak. Now, we are going to use Class Notebook. Um, and once everybody's on the team, I will distribute that to out. In fact, I'll distribute that now, uh, session one. But one of the things that we do encourage you to do is make notes. OK, so if you've got your textbook, uh, textbooks, notebooks, etc., get those out and we'll get get started. A couple of expectations just while we're waiting for, for Scott Smith's group to join us. We are going to be using collaborative, collaborative tools like we did uh, yesterday. We're going to use the chat features and all the rest of it. All I ask is that you keep it professional. I know a number of people uh, are excited by the fact that they can type to people and uh, feel the need to put silly things, which is great, and it's your individual liberty to do so. However, this is a learning tool and we want to keep it professional. All right. So if you can, please keep it professional. Um, bear in mind that there's four tutors and every one of you got the team page up. We can see what you're putting on there. So if you can refrain from doing that, that would be great because actually we want you to get value out of this. All right. Just uh, Harry, just bottom corner. There's a on button, bottom right. Yeah, click it off. Okay, Teams is slowly but surely loading up. Tommy, how are we going? I think we're good to go, John. Right, we got Scott yet? Which room's he in? No idea. Aaron, you good to go? Is it coming through now? There we go. Hello, Scott. So we're good to go, John. Sorry. Fantastic. Who was that? Was that Aaron? Thank you. Right. OK. Um, I'm just going to try and distribute the page. Tommy, can you distribute the page for me whilst um, I'm getting everybody uh, going through the intro? Yeah, of course, Cam. Thank you. OK, so we are going to be doing in this this module, I'm going to do a little bit of introduction to the unit, but I'm not going to go to town on this in the sense that, um, oh, is everybody scanned in and everybody in all four rooms scanned in? Yeah, if you make sure you scan in, please, that'd be great. So I'm not going to go through an extensive sort of intro to the unit like we did and have done in. Oh, that's not worked um, like we have done in, in the other units because it'll be the same things. OK, it goes without saying we expect you to engage. It goes without saying, you know, to get involved. But I want a bit of chaos. I want to create a bit of chaos this morning. I want you to be voicing your answers through the mics as you would in a class. I don't want you to approach this any different to me or Aaron or Tommy or Scott being in the room with you and you just saying, well, what about this? What about this? Just the fact that we're a bigger group over a distance uh, over a distance is not a bad thing. OK, now I know there's a few teething problems with this, but actually this collaborative learning approach is something we're trialing. You know this. And actually, it's quite exciting because when you get into the world of work. 
things have changed. Yes, this last 18 months has changed the way we work, uh, not just in education, but outside of the world of work. And this is the sort of thing you're going to have to get used to. OK, so that's that. So well, get involved. Speak. This is a safe space. I keep reiterating this. We want this to be a safe space. We want this to be a place where you can get it wrong. And I'm going to be absolutely honest with you. This unit, you're going to get it wrong. This unit, it's going to be tough in places. And I make and the four of us make no apologies for that. But we're here to help you. Yes, we're here to help you learn. And that's what I want to get across to you. There is no shame in getting it wrong in this environment. And that's what I want to make clear. So this unit, uh, you've got a bit of a, a blurb about this. And it's basically, well, no, not basically. It is called creating systems to manage information. That's what it is. What that actually means is databases. That's what this is. And everybody cheers when they hear databases. Anybody cheering in your room, Aaron? Oh, I got one cheer. It was a, a slow, low cheer. I'm cheering, John. I like databases. You like databases. Too. Now, anyone in here like databases? Can we? Oh, let's, they're all smiling. Yay. Yay. I want to. I want to try something. I want a Mexican wave cheer across the mics. Now, this might go horribly, horribly wrong. It probably I'm gonna will. I'm going to start in my room. Then we're going to go to Aaron's. Then Tommy. Then Scott's. So it's a, a, a very, hold on, don't, um, you're going to unmute, you're going to go, hey, and then we're going to mute again, and we're going to go around the room, all right, and then we're going to go to Tommy, uh, Aaron, then we're going to go to Tommy, then we're going to go to Scott Smith. Are we ready? This is cheesy and horrible, but it, it's, where are we starting okay. from? Okay, ready. Do you want to start, Harry? You're not signed in yet. Okay, can't start with Harry. Dara, you haven't got the team. Oh, you haven't got the team code. Hold on, let's get the team code back up. Okay. Uh, the, 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 there's some people without the team code. This, it is slow. This is very slow in here. Oh, that's not it. Don't want mentions. Team code. It is J19. Uh, there, there it is. Okay. We're going to start. Tom, could you start for us? Oh, he's not on either. Come on, let's go. Right, we're just waiting for this. Right, Aaron, are yours on the team? All but one that came in a little bit late, but we're all okay to go with that. Right, let's start with your group. Then we'll go to Tommy. Then we'll go to Scott Smith and we'll finish with mine, okay? Let's go. Okay, so we'll have left side of the room first. Go. Ah. Ah. <laughs> come on, buddy. Yeah, come on. Faster, faster. Yeah, you databases. <laughs> that was good. We all got the team code now. Drake, you got the team code? Fantastic. Really. What happened? What's happened there? We've all gone quiet. <laughs> Is your room done? Tommy, your room. Come on. Let's go. Yay. Hey. I want better from this lot. Yay. Oh, that's better. Ah. ah. Way. Woohoo. Woo. Yay. <laughs> Woohoo. Kill me. Is that Yay. it? Hooray. Hooray. Yay. Oh, it's commented. Whoa. That's my entire group. Right, Scott Smith's group, go. Uh, <laughs> this sent like a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really quiet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good soup. Yay. 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 Yay.
Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> that it? Right. Ooh. Yay. Yay! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yippee! Yay! Woo! Yay! Well done. Okay, we're out now. Well done. That was terrible, horrible, but everybody knows their mic works now. Okay. So this is creating systems to manage information. It is basically databases. Okay, there is a lot of blurb on here that tells you why this unit's important from BTEC. On this one, and I'll give you this, there's a link to the unit specification. We are going to take you through this. We're going to give you a little bit more than the spec gives you, but there are four main areas that we're going to cover in this module. The purpose and structure of relational databases. So databases are key to everything, basically, in, in computing, yes? Whether you're running a website, an e-commerce site, whether you're uh, developing a game, yes, whether you're developing a HR system, whether you're developing an app, whatever it is, you are probably going to be using relational databases. Um, you don't need to worry too much about what's on the board at the minute. There's going to be words on there. Anybody know the word normalization? Probably not. Doesn't matter if you do. It doesn't matter if you don't. We're going to assume, oh, that was high pitch, sorry. We're going to assume no knowledge, okay? And I don't mean that disrespectfully. We're going to assume you don't know. If you do know, we'll push you that bit further. But if you don't, we're going to start on a basic level and tell you how to get there. Once we've gone through the theory aspects, we're going to look at how to design relational databases. And this is basically like a problem solving thing. How do you put the pieces together in such a way that it's efficient? We're then going to get into creating them, yes? And we are going to show you how to do that using SQL. But primarily, because of the awarding body, we're going to show you how to do that in Access. OK, now Access, what's up? You're right, James. Um, nothing. Is it in the chat? Uh, no, um, I mean, well, that means yes. OK. Right, guys, let's stick away from using memes and stuff in the chat if we can, please. Um, where are we? So we're going to then get into creating it and testing it. Like I say, we're going to be using Access. Has anybody used Access before? No. Access gets a lot of bad rep. And, and for smaller relational databases, it's absolutely perfect. And a lot of organizations still use it. But we are going to be showing you throughout this unit how to use SQL as well. Not only to support what you're doing in Access, but also to allow you to develop bigger databases. And then finally, we're going to evaluate it. OK, so we're going to look at whether, whether it was good, whether it met the brief and all the rest of it. Now, a lot of these skills will cross over into different modules as well. Your programming your web design, et cetera. Now, these links don't work, so ignore that. I've got to put those links on. Like with the other sessions, every one of my resources has got these links to the command verbs, et cetera, and those are important to where you go for. It's all got the British values, prevent, employability skills, et cetera. How's this going to be assessed? And that's the important thing. The good news, there are no coursework in this unit. Absolutely no coursework. Woo! everybody's happy oh the bad thing is you get an exam but not an exam not an exam like with unit one unit one is a written exam oh sorry uh, whatever it is information technology systems i'm trying not to call them units this year information technology systems the one you have with myself tommy wayne and andy is a written exam this is a practical exam okay and it's broken into two parts we don't know what the exam's going to be. 
Okay, it's externally set by the warding body, but it's under supervised conditions. So you'll do it in the classroom and you'll be given part A and you'll be given three hours on the afternoon of the first day and part B will be carried out in two hours on the morning of the second day. So that's taken directly from the awarding body. And it will test your ability to design, create, test and evaluate a database. You're going to have to create one. So it's a practical assessment. Now, we're going to make sure you're fully prepped and ready to go for this. Now, it will be in May or June later next year. There are two windows. We're not going to put you in in the December, January window. We don't think that's right. Um, we are going to teach probably up till about February half term with the bulk of the delivery. And then we're going to do some practical assessments. OK, so the way we're going to do this to develop your confidence, because that's all it is. It's about confidence with this. We're going to teach you and each week we're probably going to give you probably not this week, but from next week on, we're going to give you practical test tasks for your homework. So you're going to build up. We're going to have one scenario, a bit like the one you're going to have in your, in your exam that you're going to build up as we go through your homework each week. Yes. And then we'll feed back on that and we can give you help and support. Towards after Christmas, we'll give you a guided one. So in class, we'll all work through it together. We'll do it bit by bit by bit by bit. Yes. And myself, Tommy, uh, Scott and Aaron will be there to support you and, and direct you and guide you. Then we'll do a dry run mock. Yes. Under these sort of conditions, under the conditions of that exam. But then what we'll do, we'll feed back together and we'll go through what was good, what was bad about your assessment. So by the time you come to May, June, you'll have done three versions of this assessment. Yeah. And hopefully your confidence will have gradually built up. And what I want to make very, very clear here is the first one and the first lot of homework and stuff. You might be thinking, I have no idea what I'm doing. But with anything, the more you practice, the more we give you opportunity to practice, the more confident you're going to be. Now, whether that's programming, whether that's web design, whether that's database design, it's about confidence. Yes. Knowing that you know how to do it. Yeah. Right now you don't. And some of the stuff we're going to go through today is going to be tough. Yes. But we're going to try and do it. Now, all I ask in all four rooms is if you don't know, you say you don't know, please don't sit there panicking, stressing. There are bigger things to panic and stress about in this world than this. OK, let's face it. It's Friday. All right. You've had a full week. You've now got three hours of relational databases on a Friday. Believe me, the four of us are well aware of what shift we've got. But my point is, I wait, all four of us want to make this as as engaging, as interesting as we can. And if you don't understand, I plead with you to ask. Yes, that's what we need. OK, any questions from from any of the four groups on that? Are we all good in the other rooms? Uh, my room's all good. All good Brilliant. in this room, John. Fantastic. OK, so we're going to just get the skill scan out of the way first. So I'm going to post the link in the chat, he says. No, he's not. I thought I was. There we go. The link is ready for you. Let's try again. There we go. So skill scan like you've done with uh, social media for business, like you've done with information technology systems. Go to the link um, which is on there. And if you can do it, it's 20 questions. Some of them are going to be completely alien to you. OK, um, not a problem with that. Answer them as best you can. Um, and that just gives us, again, a starting point for where you are. Any technical issues with that in the other rooms? Everyone's on the link in my room. All Brilliant. Fantastic. Same here, John. Brilliant. Fantastic. We're all right in this room as well. OK, so just take your time with this. Um, 
And the other thing to add is, is if you get a question, you know, after this, you think, oh, I didn't ask that. I should have asked that. I'm not sure about that. Then just um, let me know. 